Hey, it's Thursday! So it's not really time for another Action Figure Adventures video here on SEO Toy Review, but Baby Skeletor and I had to take a look at this figure because it just arrived in the mail. We've got Serpentine King Hiss. This is based off the 2000X cartoon series for Masters of the Universe, and this was the He-Man villain in his snake form, which uh, has lots and lots of snakes, is very menacing compared to the vintage version. We were supposed to get this upper torso in a two-pack, but it didn't work out price-wise. And they were trying to get it into the into the line some other way. It turned out they sold it to subscribers at a cheap price um, as an early access item. And I assume it's available to the general public uh, whenever that sale happens. So let's get ready to take a closer look at this guy. Here's a closer look at King Hiss in the package. You can see he really fills up that bubble. And it's got the awesome Snake Men logo on the front. The back of the package features a bio. And here's Serpentine King Hiss out of the package. He really is a nice figure. Before I get into the review too much, I want to give a real quick history lesson on the King Hiss action figures from this line, just to make sure everybody's caught up. King Hiss was originally offered in the Motu Classics line early on, and he had a swappable torso feature to reveal his snake torso. This snake had bendy arms and was really made up of basically five snakes, the head and two sets of arms, sort of. So very minimalistic, but pretty accurate to the original vintage figure. Last year, we received an awesome 2000X inspired 2 pack featuring He Man in his snake armor and the 2000X style King Hiss. If you've ever seen that cartoon show, you know that his snake form is bigger, bulkier, scarier, lots more snakes. And they showed us a beautiful prototype of what his torso is going to look like. This pack ended up costing too much, so they dropped that torso but told us we would get it somewhere else during that year. Basically, it was a pack and accessory. Most people assumed it was going to come with Hurricane Hordak because he was a pretty boring figure in the sense that we had already basically bought him without the opening chest feature. Flash forward to more recently, management at Mattel had changed and it was determined we weren't going to get this King Hiss body as a pack in with a figure and they were going to make it its own figure and they promised us they were going to make it cool and a figure that could stand on its own and this is what we got. They gave us a new snake lower half to go with the snake upper half and a lot of actually pretty cool accessories. When I first heard we were going to have to buy a standalone figure, I was a little disappointed. I didn't really want to spend the money on an extra figure, especially considering I had bought a second two-pack just to have a waist to display the awesome snake torso on when it came packed in with the future figure. So now the new figure comes with its own waist. I don't really need that King Hissed waist, but at least they sold it to us if you were a subscriber at 20 bucks, which is way cheaper than the figures normally are, and it came with a bunch of really awesome accessories. Serpentine King Hiss uses legs from one of the Snake Men Warrior bodies, the King Hiss waist, and then this all new top. So the body is made of a bendy wire system like a lot of 80s toys, so we can bend and pose these snakes around. This is also uh, true of the earlier King Hiss torso that we had gotten with the first figure. The main snake has an articulation point here at the neck. And of course you can separate the body to place this on the King Hiss legs if you want. King Hiss has a spear, mace, sword, and shield accessory. These are repaints from the Snake Men 2-pack, the, the uh, Army Builder Warrior set. And they have some really nice coloring. I really like that emerald green. The other accessory he came with is a snake head. And if you'll notice, it has a very dark green ridged collar in the back here. It appears that this is a transformation head that goes with the original King Hiss figure. It looks really great on him. Obviously, it fits on the 2000X King Hiss, but the colors don't match up as nicely. This pack definitely gives you a lot of options for display. This has been an Action Figure Adventures video. Do Baby Skeletor a favor, hit that like and subscribe button.